Artery versus vein explained. Arteries carry oxygenated blood away from the heart, bringing it to the brain, the arms, the legs, and all the organs, where veins carry deoxygenated blood back to the heart. So once the hand uses the oxygenated blood brought to it by the artery, the veins carry it back to the heart to get more oxygen. You can remember this by the memory trick, arteries think away from the heart, and veins think visits the heart. All right, next is that arteries flow in pulses. Think about it. Since the heart pumps blood in a rhythmic beat and arteries are pumping blood away from the heart, it follows the same pulsating beat as the heart. Now, on the other hand, veins flow smoothly. This is because it's assisted by valves and muscle contractions rather than the direct heartbeat. So there's no pulsation in veins like in arteries. All right, now let's talk about some of the actual structures. Structure. Arteries have thick walls where veins have thin walls. Arteries do not have valves where veins do have valves. Well, why is that? Arteries are pumping blood away from the heart to the entire body. But when the blood returns back to the heart, it goes through the veins. Now, the veins have valves to prevent backflow of deoxygenated blood. All right, next is that arteries are under high pressure. The heart is pushing this blood out through the arteries and the heart is strong. Where when blood makes its way back through the veins, it's under low pressure. So again, we want to prevent backflow with those valves. You can find more helpful medical and nursing school help in the complete nursing school bundle. You can find it on my shop, Nurse in the Making. Happy studying, future nurses.